Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. We're doing a reading. How are you? I am excited. Why? Because, <laughs> because I'm always like this. I'm I'm just really a ball of happiness every day, 100%, 24. No, it's not. <laughs> when the camera strikes, I get paid. So, <laughs> so energy, energy. Yeah. So anyhow, welcome to my channel. We're doing a reading. I am a different kind of reader because I look good. <laughs> No, 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 no. I'm just kidding. I joke a lot. That's the point. And I sell a lot. When they baptized me, my parents forgot to put E at the end of my name. So it becomes Sal. It's supposed to be Sale. Okay. <laughs> so here it is. The full moon is happening on Move Over Solar Eclipse. Been there, done that already. Okay. <laughs> we, we work with the transit. So we want you always to be ahead. Okay. So I created this already. Now, um, the... the Full moon, it's happening on December 18. It's happening in Sidereal Taurus. I'm not sure where in Western, but it's in Mrigashira. And for you, it's the health, the debts, the enemies, the work life, which if it's there is the full moon, that's where you can have all the energy focus. Full moon manifestation works like crazy because one, the strength of the moon is there. You know how strong your mom is? Exactly. So the moon is strong that time. Okay. So... This is by waitlist only because I cannot make a lot and you know consistently like everything is always sold out. So I don't want where people watch the first and they sold out already because I feel bad for the other people who's gonna watch a little bit later on and it is sold out already. I know I want it. I want it to be fair. So go to the description box. You can sign up for a waitlist so that everybody gets a chance. Okay, because it's becoming like supreme. <laughs> Supreme like lucky me. <laughs> you know, love that. When I used to eat La Paz Bachoy, mm -hmm. I used to eat, okay, you know, different meats. Um, different meats. <laughs> now, uh, growing up, that was one of the things that, oh, child. But it was expensive for our budget. You know, even cup noodles was a little bit expensive because that's like 25 pesos, I think, during that time. And that's equivalent of a real food real meal but when they released that soup it was like premiere okay if you don't know what is supreme la paz bachoy google it okay <laughs> so let's see you can thank me later <laughs> but i don't eat that anymore all right here we go that's my dad's favorite oh my god <laughs> and then we have some pandesal mm -hmm. okay that's it <laughs> you got the four of cups okay so um the the four of cups over here um, this is about you, I feel like draining any kind of feelings for anyone. So no attachment, you know, maybe you're clearing, you know, spring cleaning, but it's winter. Okay. So you're just saying, it's like, you know what? This gotta go, that gotta go, that gotta go, and you gotta go. Basically, this is what you said. All right. So this is removal okay, of those memories. Um, probably this is what is good, especially that you're coming to, you know, to the new year, um, 2022, right? Um, so this is a time where you do that. It's totally a good practice, you know, especially your solar return will come soon. Sidereal, of course. I mean, of course, Western, happy birthday. Um, but yeah, so before December 16 and 17, clearing of emotions. This is what I want you to do. I, maybe you can walk, stroll, take it all out, okay? You know, that's the Four of Cups. Good. Mm. Um, Knight of Swords, uh, let me see, because I feel here that you're more of a person right now who's, in a way, you've just taken back your power, realizing your potential. I mean, Venus is going to go retrograde with your Zodiac, which, okay, I don't have the box anymore. I think it's sold out also, but you can check it out. Okay, <laughs> the Venus retrograde box. So, um... Since you're unapologetic, you're a little bit, let's just be honest here, we're coming off a little bit arrogant, but I feel like you're entitled for this because probably before you were really just a wallflower, so it's okay. It's okay. You know, be a little bit, 
you know, doesn't it doesn't hurt. I don't think you're hurting anyone, but you're just more confident there. So maybe it's a confident, not arrogant. Okay, I got it. No, so you're confident. Um, six of Pentacles. Right. So I feel like you're doing a lot of charity work with the Six of Pentacles. Um, this is something that you you believe in certain cause and you're doing it. You're constantly practicing spirituality and believing that your act of kindness brings some sort of karma towards you. So you can you probably believe in that law, okay? Like, okay, I will do good and then this and that and this and that, okay? So just good, meaning like you're waiting for the results of your good deeds. You're hoping, basically, is this one. Good. Um, death card, um, solar eclipse, of course, happening in your seventh house. Ah, sorry, uh, twelfth house. Okay, twelfth house for you. Um, this is about removal of all your all your enemies, um, spiritual transformation, moksha, feeling free is what the death card here. Um, this is good because I feel like time and time again you held back for so long, probably for this whole year. On when are you gonna take a leap of faith? This is not the full card. I know that. When are you gonna put a period in? in certain parts of your life that is required already. So you will find things that are still useful for you and there are things that are useless. So the husband is used. <laughs> it's not. It's not. <laughs> the husband we can use. <laughs> if they have a credit card, just saying. And if it's Amex Platinum, you're welcome. <laughs> With a death card over here, you chop it down. I feel like, okay, you gotta go. This, this is a, what, a Sith? Yeah. So you, you cut someone off in your life. Now, this is also removal of your enemies. This is a good solar eclipse for you. For all your enemies, they're gonna be gone. Mm -hmm. So definitely spring cleaning. You have the Eight of Pentacles, the Chariot. Oh, you're buying a new car? Okay, so you may be buying a new car. Or you already have a car also, um, or you're in a process. Eight of Pentacles here, you're trying to focus more on what you can do with your life and how you are gonna change your life from now after the breakup or the clearing of karma. Because this is what I feel uh, What I feel like you've done, is you, you've cleared a lot of karma in your life and now you're ready for success. Magician over here, um, there are people who want uh, to be around you if you are a performer. because But the magician is a knowledgeable person. So you may be, I forgot what it's called, when you're book smart or you're a scholar, you know, like you are, you're that, you know, you're that person, went to university, all those things. I feel like people want you. So job-wise, you're not even going to have a hard time to look for because you have a wonderful, wonderful CV, okay? Not civic, see, curriculum vitae. Resume, biodata. No, biodata is not. Okay. <laughs> so, because um, people want you and they have a certain need for your skill. Uh, again, the deck will read different, okay? So you also are very consistent with your spiritual practices. If you're if you're a person who um, who is a devotee of Lord Ganesha, continue doing that, uh, Sag. Um, because you know, like, you know, Lord Ganesha associated with Jupiter and then Jupiter Abundance. <laughs> Lord Ganesha, removal of our obstacles in our life, of course, the wisdom. You know, that's what you're you're gaining from this. And then people want you for that. Okay. You may be a person who gives advice also with a magician. Mm -hmm. Going back to school is the magician also. This is very good. I feel like there is a sense of groundedness in your life right now. Mm -hmm. You have the Six of Cups and the nine, Ten of Wands and the Justice card. There are times where you question yourself, how come relationship is always difficult? You know, how come, um, you know, every time I'm in a relationship, I struggle and you don't have, you don't know the balance of it. This is what you're uh, internalizing right now because you give too much. <laughs> exactly. It's only difficult when you give too much. When you know how to say no, it's not too much. Yes. Because then you cater to a codependency relationship, which you had before. See, that's a 10 of ones. You were, okay. You were everything to this person. You did this for that. You did this. You did this. You did this. That's why it's difficult. So start saying no. No, I'm not going to do that. Mm -hmm. You pick up after yourself. Not in a not nice way. Just say it nice way. You know, I'm not going to pick up after you. <laughs> no, the ten of ones with the justice card. You always try to be the problem solution kind of person. Where I'm here for you, I love you. You dedicate yourself, and then look who suffer you. <laughs> so you create your own issue. Exactly. So now you're learning. It's like, oh, that's true. Now I'm not gonna do that again. Exacto mundo. Mm -hmm. Let's see. 
You have the Four of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, and the Emperor. Um, you could have been taken advantage financially, or because the Emperor here is, you know, if you're a person who's who's somebody in society, um, there are people who tries to, um, we call this linta, <laughs> is when they leech on you. So linta is leech. Okay. Now, now this person, okay, or these people who associates with you because of what you can give them, this is what you're ending with the Ten of Wands. Yes, this is what you're removing, Four of Cups. This is what you're taking back is Emperor. This is how you got taken advantage because you trust everybody. You believe that they're, you know, like they mean well for you. I totally, I, I buy that, you know. But right now, what you're doing is cleaning the house. Maybe you're really cleaning the house, okay? Mm. Let me see. Clean that six house of yours. You're definitely doing a six and twelve. Enemies and hidden enemies. Mm. So you're definitely spring cleaning on winter. Eight of Wands, more opportunity, travel, single, nine of pentacles, and look at that. Mm -hmm. When you don't wanna. Mm -hmm. Hierophant. What's this karma between you and Taurus? I don't understand it. <laughs> so is it like a six house kind of connection? I don't know because then if it's a six house kind of relationship, <laughs> you just get into enemies with them at the end of the day. Nine of Pentacles with the Hierophant. You're looking at it. Your, your doom is the sixth house in a relationship. Listen, okay. It's the 12th from your seventh. Gemini seventh house. Taurus sixth house. Your relationship ends in the in the sixth house. Does it make sense? Because 12 from the seventh. So you will find if there's a transit in the Taurus, there's the there's the nodes right now, also in Taurus. If there's something uh, you know moving around Taurus, your relationship becomes difficult because it's 12 from your seventh house. So just saying. You can also book an appointment with me in the description box. <laughs> so just saying, it's an investment. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles with the Hierophant here. It's looking like um, you are challenged to make a relationship be stable, but you know that you can make it stable. But you can make it. What about them? That's the whole part of people trying to get into a relationship. I can make it stable. The relationship is not an I. Mm -hmm. I don't know who's calling me. Okay. So the relationship is not an I, it's a we, all right? So I'm going to continue this reading, link down there in the description box below. You can join the waitlist, guys, in the description box also for this. So you can check it out and you can, you know, check the whole, uh, everything that I put inside it. So this ritual that I'm doing for you, basically it's uh, focusing on your um, house of six house. So where the moon is for you. So that it's not just like, oh, it's just a moon. No, it's not. So this is for people who's, who wants to put effort and energy in their six house. Not sex house. Sixth house. Sorry, the accent is thick. Okay. <laughs> so link down there in the description box below as you find yourself now ready for something serious. Will you find someone? Is there someone out there, Sage? Okay. So I'll see you guys again. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye, guys.